Hello Pisces. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the week of January 20th to the 26th of 2020 spiritual reading. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to those of you who have been with me from the very beginning. To those of you who have come to me for month to month readings and to those of you who have referred others to come to me for personal readings and so on. Thank you so very much. Thank you as well to those of you who have donated to keep the channel up and running. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. So we're starting out here with the Wisdom of the Oracle Deck by Colette baron Reed. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Pisces I'm reading for during this general reading with clearly defined messages regarding the week of January 20th of 2020. Okay. Okay, ooh, so we're getting kind of a slap on the hand here. Let's put those back. Okay. We have Spirit Advising, whichever Pisces energy this is, around the beginning of the week of January 20th of 2020 to make sure that you do things by the book, right? One step at a time in the proper sequence. Now, that may not make sense to you now because I'm releasing this probably on the 18th. This is for next week, so it will, for some of you, make sense by Monday or Tuesday, the 20th, 20th and the 21st. All right, so in this Celtic spread, we have uh, the yin energy. So we have a Pisces who is feeling as though their cup is empty. So there's advice here to when you're feeling unfulfilled, make sure you find what it is that fulfills you, for life is about creativity. It is time to put your mind into a hobby, gift, talent, or skill, something that truly fulfills you. And to do things by the book, you know, create, share, and then maybe at some point sell the wonderful things that your soul was sent here to do. Market a product. Help people start their business. Work with children. Learn to dance, sing, write, draw, paint this week. All right, so in the foundation, wow, this has been showing up for a lot of people. So it's, it's a week with the two of the sun energies to really just stop and contemplate. Give yourself a pat on the back for how far you have come. And now what you want to create for yourself in your own personal journey in the year of 2020. Fill this cup, Spirit is saying, with cool ideas. I'm going to oil paint. I'm going to draw and write. I'm going to do a little bit of photography. And I'm going to plant these seeds. I'm going to write the next chapter of my life story for the year of 2020. And I'm going to be excited about taking the steps I need to, to obtain uh, what success means to me, fulfillment and joy. So in the recent past, we have between worlds. So it could be that in the first half of January or so, we have this Pisces who's saying, you know, does this path serve me any longer? Sitting between worlds, contemplating how can I move into um, a blessed new path, new direction. And spirit, again, is saying you need to just take one step at a time and don't think of your cup as half empty, but instead pray to spirit for what you'd like spirit to help you make come manifest this week. So by midweek, we'll say January 23rd to the 25th of 2020, we have a Pisces here who is still sitting here between in the here and now and is looking at the past and is being guided to really claim victory over the past by recognizing uh, what it was that you learned about that no longer serves you. Recognizing as well that things have to be done by the book as Jesus would do. And now how you're going to manifest the next chapter of your life moving forward. How you're going to fill this cup in your thoughts. So in the actions position, yep, this week we have a Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto. Um, we have a never-ending story energy. So this Pisces is able to fly into a new chapter, into a new direction, if they'll just pray to spirit and put time and effort into what they want to manifest. Remember, each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely moving forward. Do things by the book moving forward. Let go of waiting on a decision. 
There's a glass encased heart here that says yes, no, maybe so, will they, won't they, and so on. It's time to move forward into a new direction, and Spirit is guiding you with the number 32. For the effort you put in, 3 plus 2 is 5, uh, in a very routine manner, going and attending something, creating something every couple hours each night, doing something that really fulfills you, this process, Spirit saying with the spiritual assistance position here, that they're helping to free you from energies of chaos and conflict. For this, Pisces has kind of brought a situation upon themselves, whichever Pisces I'm reading for during this general read. So in the hopes and fears position, we have a Pisces who is here standing at a fork in the road. By the end of the week, maybe even I'm thinking the 24th through the, I was going to say 25th, I'm feeling all the way into the 26th, kind of still waiting, thinking about the future meditating or praying to spirit about how you can leave behind waiting on some answer and fill your cup instead by creating the next direction for yourself. You're standing at the fork of the road, so do not fear this opportunity to step into a direction where spirit is trying to guide you again away from inner chaos or conflict or maybe outward chaos or conflict. Wow. Wow. So in the outcome position, Pisces, you've got divine timing. 30. 3 plus 0 is 3. The Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, is working on your behalf to help you to recognize how you didn't do things by the book, how some form of situation or connection didn't transpire, and how you felt as though your cup was empty, how you somehow in the past caused your own inner chaos or conflict and now how you're going to stand at the fork of the road and get excited about your future because you now understand what you needed to learn in the past. Wow. So in a three-card summary to my left with the same wisdom of the Oracle deck, they're saying on Monday or Tuesday or both, 20th to the 21st of January 2020, we have a Pisces who is contemplating co-creating with another this could be creating a better, more close connection with a partner. This could be coming into a connection with someone else that is new in the beginning of the week. This could be co-creating with someone in the area of business. Let's see, we have a Pisces who's kind of their mind is elsewhere. They're kind of trying to figure out why something took place in spirit saying we're helping for you to mend so you can let go and Enjoy a soul path, a soul connection, a soul direction, a soul mate. For if you are in um, a beautiful connection at this time, Spirit saying give thanks to that, for there is no place like home, especially when you are with your soul mate. So if some of you were wondering, yes, uh, something that wasn't done by the book left someone empty here. And still, we've got the unfinished business energies this week, uh, midweek. Uh, waiting on communication that didn't end all the way or properly or how you wanted it, Pisces. But now Spirit's saying, you know, put your thoughts into the manifestation of a new direction. And we're going to bring you on the back of this magical tortoise, this gift, this surprise money, this uh, inheritance, this blessing. And what happens? Pisces wakes up. Pisces recognizes you've been blessed with a brand new life and that someone truly wasn't for you and that it is time to move way far on from whatever that was. In the past, you were kind of stuck between worlds. I think now you can recognize a new journey and it's being divinely timed. So really free your energies from the past and fill that cup with goals and intentions and manifestations through your prayers so spirit can help you this week. Okay, so by the weekend, the 25th and 26th of January, 2020, look at that. Happy, happy, observing, wanting to know more here. So it's through your goals and intentions that by the weekend, whatever seeds you've been planting in your life, and that's going to be different for everyone, of course. Spirit is saying we are going to give you the key to success because of your time and effort. And that key to success is going to move you into the energies of happy, happy. And observing now, where are things going to go next? For I cleaned up my life, my path, my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions from anyone or anything that was unhealthy. And now I am sitting in the energies of peace. 
Well, the glitters isn't gold, and you're recognizing a change in the wind this week, whichever Pisces this is. Someone recognizes unhealthy patterns, behaviors, and cycles, and they have changed that in themselves. And that is why some form of information is uh, coming towards Pisces in a new direction. On the bottom of the deck, we have a Pisces with the truth be told energy, spiritual advice, spirit saying, look it, you have obtained the wisdom and the knowledge of the owl. Therefore, you can put on this new beautiful golden mask and fly into the journey by which you were meant to go. The blessed journey, the next higher, better path of greater things. Wow, Pisces. So let's take a close look at what this is about. I'm being guided actually to clarify this Celtic spread with the Lenormand deck by Chiro Marsetti. So, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Pisces I'm reading for during this general reading with clearly defined messages regarding the week of January 20th of 2020. Okay, so we have in the center of the spread representing the 20th and the 21st, Monday and Tuesday of the week. I hope I'm right on that. Uh, someone recognizing I need to do things by the book or I need to take one step at a time having to do with something regarding home or business. And the thought, someone's feeling as though their cup is empty, but Spirit's saying, before you know it, you're going to be sweeping away from those thoughts. If you are following Spirit's advice and you are meditating about what the chapter of 2020 is going to look like for you, continue to put your act, uh, energy and this is more about thoughts, though, thoughts into what you're going to create for yourself. Some of you have already been creating and working on something, and it is going to bloom into this clover energy, a new path, a new direction with the number two, a very karmic and blessed path, I think, regarding the home. So in the past here, we had someone that was feeling stuck or trapped because they couldn't let go of a path that was dull and no longer serve you. There was nothing left there. And now you're needing to do something by the book in the area of home or business. So by Thursday, Friday, I'm getting like around the 24th and 5th. We have some form of meetings or negotiations. This is when the actual communication takes place regarding a new direction. And that's why Pisces is sitting here in the here and now celebrating what they've learned in the past and now recognizing how to move forward in a new direction in a completely different, more highly evolved spiritual way. Hope that makes sense. So you guys have control over flying away from waiting on a never ending story to transpire in your life and to instead, again, pray to spirit for the wishes that spirit wants to help make you come true in the area of what success means to you. We have Coming together and celebrating something regarding emotions with the six of heart here involving other people where your wish is going to come true as you leave in uh, energies of a never ending story in the dust. Right. So spiritual assistance is helping for this Pisces to recognize energies of chaos and conflict that you can shed those energies and instead put your passion into uh, a hobby, gift, talent, or skill, something that you have been working on or that you are going to create for the year, um, just mostly because it will ground you and it'll lead you into different ideas and down the path of your soul purpose, whoever this is. Shift your passion into what a happy home or success in some way means to you, for it could be that around... I'm getting the 20th, which would be the beginning of the week, but it's kind of in like the middle of the week position. So I'm going to say between the 20th and the 23rd or 4th, this karmic blessed path is going to lead to some form of gathering connection. And you're being guided to kind of sit in the here and now and to know you are now able to sweep away from feeling as though your cup is empty. Do not fear a new direction as you stand in the fork at the fork in the road, but instead use this spiritual energy here. This is spirit saying we're going to give you the magnifying glass so that as you look closer to the details of a new direction, we will help for you to uh, obtain all and see all of the information you need. So in the outcome position, tick tock, tick tock, divine timing prevails. And now we have a letter, communication, paperwork, and a Pisces saying, oh my gosh, this is what spirit's been trying to happened for me when I was worried about and stuck in my thoughts. 
It's all about perspective. The mind controls the body. The body then can move forward towards peace, joy, and happiness through what we were sent here to do, which is our creativity. Think about your inner child, what you've always wanted to learn about or do, or go get those supplies and practice and play. That's the advice this week for this Pisces, yes. Because look, if they're saying divine timing has been at work, was at work. If there was a connection in the past that was full of lies and deceit. Or, Pisces, some of you have left that behind and now you're kind of like, which way do I go with the maze? Um, who will be my soulmate? What, when will I recognize my soul purpose? Some are waiting on a situation involving children, and that's affecting how or how they cannot move into a new direction that is on offer here. So an offer may come here this week is what I'm seeing. Or Pisces is thinking about meeting up with these people, but there's family and there's other things they need to situate first. Now, by the end of the week, I'm getting Thursday or Friday. So what is that? 23rd and 4th. Uh, we have a Pisces who's just kind of waiting patiently now, recognizing a journey, thinking about nine endings. Why? Because along comes some form of stability and security that makes this Pisces shine, that makes this Pisces recognize that indeed I was hoping, wishing, and praying to spirit with the wishing well energies and, uh, and the meditation of through the sea energies and your foundation, you're starting to shine. You're starting to feel happy and joyful and fulfilled because an opportunity comes, a new chapter comes, a new direction comes. And the advice here, Pisces, this week is to roll the dice and take a risk. For as you devote your energy, someone's going to devote something to you and you're going to be excited to hop, skip, and jump into a new direction. Maybe at a distance, I see flowers, celebration for some. So by the weekend on the 25th and 26th of January 2020, there is still a little bit of confusion about which direction to go, but they're sending in this very spiritual card, the compass. They're saying, watch the signs and synchronicities as you stand at a fork in the road. And fear not, for we are going to help you as you look a little bit closer to find the clarity you need about which path is in your highest best good. And then comes that paperwork, divine timing, someone who's in a leadership position and an offer of money that helps for this Pisces to rise above, maybe to a higher position of leadership and or, I just was gonna say their heart opens up. Wow, so great things are happening. Um, if this is business, something's going to come. It was divinely timed. You're going to realize that as you're standing at the fork in the road. They're just saying make sure you read the fine print as you meet up with someone. Sit in the here and now and know that Spirit's helping to make a wish come true when it comes to what you're putting your passionate time and energy into. It could be a small business at home. It could be a creative project that grounds you. Either way, communication is going to come that is divinely timed. For some of you, you're like content and stable and secure and enjoying what you're doing and connecting with new people. Someone here is going to find some form of clarity regarding success and come into commitment, partnership, or contract. Maybe signing on the dotted line around the 25th, which is a Saturday of January 2020. Should I or shouldn't I take upon this opportunity, this greater, more abundant circumstance or situation? Should I bring my current circumstance to an end and instead travel towards this money. Travel towards trying to find clarity. See if I can figure out who this person is. If you're single, you are free. And ready for a blessed path. And spirit wants to open up this karmic connection for you, helping you to make your wishes come true. But you got to let go of someone's energies from the past because they're holding you back. For at some point, you will meet up and negotiate with another. And uh, the advice is to stand at the fork in the road and wait and look a little bit deeper. At some point, you will get the answer you need via some form of communication or paperwork. Please clarify the communication, paperwork, and divine timing position in the outcome. Wow. Wow. So we have a Pisces with your moon energies in your element, looking, contemplating, feeling, observing, investigating, researching before grabbing that worm like a walleye, right? This is about 
contemplating what is a blessed and exciting new direction here. Now, the Ace of Wands is either an exciting uh, change in the area of home, business, career, money, and or uh, this is a passionate connection you're going to be moving forward with uh, regarding someone who has fire in their chart. And then you go into the Queen of Fire Energies, Wands. Um, setting goals and meeting goals because of an offer. Feeling stuck or trapped because a wish is coming true, because there's a motherly spiritual energy is here, worrying about home, family, how you're going to handle the celebration that may come in quickly and or unexpectedly, which puts this Pisces into the moment of indecision. But we've got on the bottom of the deck the three of coins or pentacles. So this is, you've been building something wonderful, and now you need to really give yourself a pat on the back for how far you have come and wait patiently and positively for a next direction. For some of you, again, there's the king of sword, uh, spears or wands. So we've got uh, Aries, Sag, Leo. Communication from, now we got temperance, Sagittarius. Regarding someone's truth. And Pisces is like, oh my gosh, I just got, this person wants to marry me. Now what do I do? That could be what that paperwork's about by the weekend. This could go many ways. So I'm just going to pull one card to close with from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm deck by Colette Baron reed So this Pisces, please, representing the week of January 20th of 2020. Truth be told, spirit will guide you into the highest, best path. Even when there is a state of confusion, your devotion will lead you into an exciting new direction. Time and effort, taking a risk on the next chapter of your life. You have grown. Yep, so now you guys are much stronger because you've got the Metal King energies. Some of you are following Spirit's advice and you're waiting and you're looking and uh, people may come towards you and tempt you and you're going to be protected, okay? The Metal King energy is Spirit saying, um, remain very disciplined or you are going to have a strong armor of boundaries around yourself because of what you learned in the past. And it's because you are now rising to a higher spiritual level as a stronger soul, someone who respects themselves enough to um, explain and express boundaries. Someone may be tempted here. You're the boss of your path. Don't let the area of passion cause chaos or conflict. Meet up, take a look, and decide. Wow. All right. So should these messages have resonated for you and you'd like more information and or you'd like your own energy read, feel free to write me at my email for a personal reading at josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. Um, it's taken me about 24 to 48 hours to turn the readings around and um uh, but I do offer the emergency readings as well, which is about one to three hours. I am also still offering the New Year special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed. To those of you who have donated to keep this channel up and running, thank you. Take care. And God